hi welcome let's make this draping all right to make this draping you need this kind of basic shape as you probably know i almost every dress i start i start with a simple block shape so this is exactly what i'm gonna do with this draping all right i'm not gonna waste my time showing you how to make this step by step instead i'm gonna give you this file if you really want to see a tutorial of how i do this basic block i can make it in future videos second thing i'm not going to be covering the texturing part not in this video maybe in future but not in this video all right now ignore all the details of this draping first i'm going to simplify the shape by the way this is really very easy okay first as you can see the draping start from here and it's now it's like this i'm going to make it when you get this file go to your first and it's sewing tool and select this sewing right click and merge yeah i didn't merge it just merge it now and do the same thing here on the back all right now i'm gonna select this line and delete this and same with here i'm gonna select this point and this point right click convert to curve point so now you have a front pattern and the back pattern all right now as you can see this is kind of like this so i'm gonna make it so i'm gonna start maybe from here and i'm gonna end here maybe let's see so with your internal line tool which is here internal polygon line i'm gonna start from here and maybe end here i think i'm gonna go here all right, now I'm going to just right click extend team to pattern outline. So, yeah, you can see this is very straight, but this has a curvy. The reason behind it is just the body is curved. I mean, here. So, that's why. So, that's why you need to make, I mean, in return, just this a little bit, maybe like this. Don't overdo it just a little bit all right now i'm kind of satisfied with this so same thing with the back but how can you get the exact same location as this very easy select this line right click cut and sew and just delete this you don't need this now as you can see here the sewing is kind of separated so as you can see here so this is the exact point this one so you, you get the point so right i'm gonna do select this sewing right click and add point to pattern on start so it will add a point here same thing to this sewing here as you can see this is already cut so i'm gonna right click and pattern on end so i get this two point i'm just gonna join them like this now i have to um adjust that a little bit which i'm gonna do yeah something like this and now i'm gonna go right click and cut and just delete this so yeah now i just all right just ignore the avatar avatar is not very important right now now here as you can see i need this like a smooth round thing which is kindly not so i'm gonna make it there we go and also here i think i need to adjust a little bit maybe here yeah it's really up to you of how you want this all right if you see this kind of thing don't worry when i will add ruffles it will be okay so i'm gonna first add a rectangle and then point and just drag it like this right click convert to curve point and just play with the shape a little bit until i get a basic slip pattern now i'm gonna sew it free sewing from here to here hold shift from there to there you don't need to match the length because it will be a little bit ruffle sleeve 
I mean fluffy sleeve. So first I'm gonna freeze everything and then unfreeze this one. There we go. Like this, but I really want this really fluffy, so I'm making I'm keeping this frozen and make this something like this. A little bit more. Now I'm gonna go and select this with the transform point tool and just select this line, double click in the middle, and like this. And now I have to play with the because now as you can see this leaves looks way odd. You just have to like this until it's going the same thing yeah now it's way better a little bit though i still need to make it a bit smaller yep something like this now as you can see the sleeves might end here it doesn't matter yeah something like this no this things is really amazing i'm gonna make it First, I'm going to select this point and I'm going to make this thing. Right click, offset as internal line and maybe 10. Okay. Select this rectangle, trace tool, right click, trace as a pattern. And just remember you have to delete this red line. Just select that and delete. And just so from here to here. Select this, right click, superimpose over. No, this is on on top and simulate by the way i'm gonna just deactivate that okay now so from here to here um now i'm gonna reduce the body distance maybe by three and there we go i have this kind of detail which is amazing all right i just changed the pattern color so you can see it nicely i'm gonna make this thing which is really very simple just add a rectangle and sew it with this one this is as you can see this is the top and this is the bottom i'm gonna sew it from here to here and you have to match this length with this length there's a really cool trick to match that so once you have this and when you sew it you just have to select one of these points and drag that until it snaps now they're same now here as you can see this is the sewing end so i'm gonna right click and pattern on end and from here i'm gonna add a line oops straight line i mean and just cut and delete now they're same all right so i'm gonna so i'm gonna first there as you can see this is start this starts from here to around here so way smaller we'll freeze everything and just unfreeze this simulate so yeah so it needs it needs to go a little bit lower yeah and i'm gonna sew it from here to here something like that maybe a little bit less yep so yeah something like this this looks really good all right i'm gonna do same thing just like this so right click offset as internal line 10 I'm gonna select this trace as a pattern delete this red internal line so select right click superimpose over and so here to here just reduce the particle distance boom very easy um yeah now the most interesting part this one this is also easy so i'm gonna select everything freeze this this is very important just freeze everything now i'm gonna add a rectangle just duck it there like this i'm gonna sew it from here to this this one don't worry this doesn't need to be same length just simulate so i'm gonna make it a little bit a little bit like this and make it just it's up to you 
maybe like this yeah if you have like the character like this it will cause some problem like this this is really annoying so in this situation what i do i just select this select mess box and select the area which is pretty like this and drag it like this it fix yeah this is really annoying i hate this maybe a little bit it's really up to you it doesn't matter all right as you can see the shape here is like narrow and here really wide how can i achieve that very easy just select this line with transform point tool and double click here and just make it wider marvel design is really easy this a little bit more and i'm gonna sew from here to here simulate you really don't want this pointy thing if you can see here this right all right so to make this very smooth i'm gonna make this and i'm gonna curve right here and here and i'm gonna go like this yeah something like this now i'm gonna unfreeze everything and simulate yeah like this now the ruffle first i'm gonna add the color ruffle pretty simple just freeze everything make a rectangle of course and sew it from here to here and then simulate and i'm gonna control c and control v to copy and paste this just rotate oops just rotate like this go in the back and so from here to the back simulate and i'm gonna make it like this well if you want more ruffle you have to make it bigger and if you want less ruffle you have to make it smaller i'm gonna sew from here to here and here to here make sure the sewings are not reversed simulate um i'm gonna first now this doesn't look very good right because ruffle doesn't look very good until you reduce the particle distance well it's still not very good why the reason is it's kind of like a, it's kind of wide and it's it's trying to spare right to make it kind of like a neck tight something like this all you have to do is you have to create a new material and assign that material to it select this material and in the detail panel just make the density zero so they are very lightweight and now i'm gonna unfreeze everything and simulate if it doesn't look still good you have to select the top line and add really a little pressure i mean strength elastic 99 you have to make it really really subtle i just make it way subtle mm, maybe 95 i think strength 3 or strength 5 maybe 80 it's okay no it's looking very bad 85 and for me 80 it looks good but i still need to make it a little bit smaller so yeah i also have to had to make this like a little bit closer to neck but whatever now the ruffle here and that's gonna fix that thing same thing just draw a rectangle so it from here make sure to add another material and assign that material to it name it anything they don't get confused simulate um i kind of like this really so control c control v same thing just rotate place it in the back so from here to here and then simulate i'm gonna so from this line to this line first and then this to this make it a little bit better i have to make it a little bigger i have more ruffles and of course of course 
all right now when you add this two ruffles pattern to a new material you just have to select the material and the density make it hundred so it just drapes down and that's really cool now activate all the pattern and simulate so maybe it's a little bit heavy 75 so it just fix here you know when you have a real physics it's really i really don't like how it's like this maybe i'm gonna turn off this thing um i think i have to make it a little bit less but it's just a matter of tweaking the more you tweak the better it looks so yeah so i need the sleeves a little bit more fluffy so this so yeah something like this one more ruffle i have to make which is here as you can see uh, very simple just drag a rectangle to be a little bit bigger let's sew it from this make sure it's make sure this is also heavy simulate make a bit bigger need more ruffles connect here to here um, yeah looks good reduce the particle distance mm, something like this yeah that's that i think i have to reduce the particle distance of this leaf i mean first this two maybe three yeah that's okay sleeve maybe six this one maybe eight and this two six now if i simulate everything it should look good something like this yeah i really don't like here maybe the reason is this the neck hole is really wide for this character so yeah i cannot fix that right now but you should i think anyway that's 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 how i made this really simple thing now to make this kind of detail is really easy all you have to do is you just have to create a line here Oops. straight line and then right click offset as into line make sure both side is selected and make it 10 no maybe 8 like this delete the middle one and offset and offset as into line maybe 5 and check the both side it's like this and here make the reverse direction like this select everything right click extend trim to pattern outline select this trace as a pattern select this trace as a pattern make sure to have this two come on this two are like here and you have to delete the red tall line and so here to here here to here right click so bring us over simulate first just freeze everything then simulate this too when you reduce the particle distance it will look something like this boom and all right now i'm gonna go select these two points and these two these two points right click extend trim and add point to pattern outline same here and so from here to here here to here then we there just freeze segments so like this and this simulate boom 
and the same thing i mean this is the same the same thing like here i'm gonna make from here to maybe here so from here to there something like this now i'm gonna write uh right click and offset internal line both sides maybe two or three okay delete this one and trace the pattern with these two points right click at point delete the internal line so here and here like this right click superimpress over and also so here and this and reduce the particle distance I just simulate like this well you can make this too right away I'm gonna show you how to make it so select this and until line maybe one or two same here two and select this and make another five millimeters and also here five millimeters so select this two and like this trace as a pattern select this two right click do like this like this for right click like this and again just remove or delete the internal line so here here just extra careful here and here and here here and here superimpose over um you can just add like place here to really make yourself easy like this so you can just drag just beside that and so like this like this to reduce the particle distance and simulate so it will just make everything really cool something like this yeah um, make this gap one millimeter so it will something like this so yeah that's how i make this very simple draping things all right so this is the the draping i have made and yeah with the texture that's what i did to make this draping and yeah thank you so much guys for thousand subscribers it really means a lot for me for this milestone i really don't think only thanks is enough so that's why for those who use cloth 3d or Morpheus designer i want to give one of my favorite dresses for free so just go and download and see the patterns and just learn things it's really amazing and yeah cloth 3d is really amazing so thanks again and i will see you in the next time bye